How does it feel to be at the 50th Dove Awards? Oh, we are super excited. It's celebrating 50 years of the Dove Awards, but this is number year 30 for us. Uh, I moved here after I left the NBA, and so this is my 30th year celebrating the music industry, 15th nomination for Best Instrumental. So a lot to celebrate for the tanker. Feels amazing. Feels amazing. I'm nominated for Best New Artist, so I'm excited to bring it home. You know, I've got my church fan. It's the 50th uh, anniversary of the Dove Awards. Uh, my record was nominated for two awards. Uh, my daughter Tasha was nominated for 2,000 awards. And just to watch the body of Christ just be together tonight. There's no Christian. There's no gospel. There's no black. There's no white. We're just here as one family tonight. It's just, I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. It's going well. Um, to be here is still surreal because I really love being amongst my peers. I got a chance to present earlier. I got a chance to sing earlier. And now I'm getting a chance to just see the people that I love present and sing. This is fun, man. Uh, I've, I've been a few times now, so th but it's cool. Big family reunion, different culture, different backgrounds, all together, lifting up the name of Jesus. So this is great. I got to know, I'm sure other people want to know, what in the world led you to leave the NBA for the music ministry and just using your gift in the body of Christ? Well, you know, uh, I was kind of forced out. I was injured and cut in my first year. Went to church and got saved, and the minister prayed for my hands and told me to sit to the piano. I began to play the first time like a professional jazz musician. So everyone said, you need to move to Nashville, New York, or L.A. if you're going to be in music. And since I'm from Florida, Nashville was the best fit. Moved here in 1990, and wild horses cannot drive me away. Well, I came up, my parents were in the church and stuff like that. And so I got saved for myself at 12, and so it just bleeds out in my music. You know what I'm saying? I still talk about life issues, but it's just from a biblical aspect just because, you know, that's my father. That's who I believe in. So, um, yeah. You know, my songs are not because I'm such a gifted songwriter. Uh, my songs are birthed out of my life, and so, you know, my songs are my stories. I've lived them out, I've cried them out, I've prayed them out, and so when you hear a William Murphy song, it's really a testimony. It's, it's me sharing the goodness of God in my life as I've walked through raising my children and uh, trying to love my wife and trying to pastor a church and all of those emotions and pitfalls and mess-ups and all of that it comes out in the song it comes out in the worship and I think that's why people feel it right here is because what comes from the heart reaches the heart and so when you hear me singing when you hear me in worship it's really me walking you through my story so that's what makes it different can you yeah. talk a little bit about you know God still working miracles yeah, and what you feel sure, like he's man. doing right now for sure I mean in my life alone God has constantly done these crazy miracles you know I was born still born I was pronounced dead at age four my son was uh, I, I, my wife's water broke halfway through her pregnancy with my son so that was crazy and um, God just constantly make ways and constantly prove himself to be strong and mighty and so uh, that's what we sing and celebrate him so tell me about um, tonight your involvement with tonight and the awards and things of that nature so honored uh, we were celebrating the life and memories of those who have passed on since last Dove Awards. So I was the one that was honored to be able to play the memorial music during that session of the pre-telecast. Then nominated for um, Best Instrumental. And then we're here to support all these other artists. It's almost like a family reunion, almost like a Tyler Perry family reunion. Hey, girl, hey, what's going on? What's going on? Give me your number. So it's so good to be here again. What else can we look forward to from you? I'm glad you asked because I am preparing for my live recording next year in March 2020 in Toronto, Canada. What would you say to those who are watching, they're aspiring artists, musicians, and they want to get their start in the industry but just can't seem to find their way? What would you say to them? Don't wait till you have a lot of money. Start with what you got. Start with your iPhone. Start with your iPad. Stick it up on your social media. Get, get responses. See who cares. See who doesn't. And um, for God's sake, be yourself because everyone else is already taken. Look at what the Lord has done. So my, my word of advice, my counsel would be find your pastor, serve his or her vision, and watch God bless you with your own. It is important uh, that we remain uh, uh, with our ear, you know, to God. Uh, 
he that has an ear, let, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. So it, we, it's important that we're in a place that we hear what God is saying now and, and be postured. That should be our only posture. His agenda should become our agenda.